Assalamu alaikum, what's happening? That Muslim dude here, Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there who are fasting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, may Allah help you with your fast. And those who are not fasting, may Allah still help you and, and uh, may you still use this month to reflect. Um, to those out there who are not Muslim, you know what's happening. Uh, hope everybody's alright during this hot month of August. Um, I'm here, uh, as you can see, I uh, have a hadith book. A uh, hadith book, um, Miss uh, Mishkat Ul Ul um, Masabi, um, written by uh, uh, Maulana uh, Fazul Karim. Uh, basically, um, since this is the month, wonderful month of Ramadan, uh, along with various discussions, you know, that I might have or whatnot, uh, topics, I'm also going to be reading some hadiths, you know, on uh, you know various topics like jihad, suicide, marriage, bribery. Um, reading, you know, some passages from the Quran. Um, also, you know, um, giving little um, excerpts about, you know, Muslims and uh, various con contributions they've contributed to the world, you know, like science, architecture, mathematics. Um, also, talking about Muslim women uh, and the different contributions that they've they've uh, put forth in the Muslim world and in the world period, and the contributions that Muslims have done in the world and especially in the West in America for centuries, you know. That she here in the United States, where Muslims have been contributing to the United States way before slavery. You know, uh, when the, when some of the uh, Chinese Muslims came in, uh, I believe it's fourteen twenty one, and uh, various other African Muslims came to America. Um, the America way before Col Christopher Columbus. Heck, there were Muslims that helped Christopher Columbus get here. You know, he didn't get here on his own. Anyway, um, I'm reading this. Uh, this is um, book. Um, what is this? Volume 2 of the uh, Al-Hadith. Um, it's going to be something on uh, basically um, Jihad. Uh, a lot of people have misconceptions about Jihad, um, especially a lot of non-Muslims. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to, you know, read something on it and, uh, you, know, um, you know, do the best I can. Uh, I can't really explain it that much, you know, but kind of like uh, reiterate and, you know, give a little detail on what I was talking about in some of my other videos. All right. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alright, uh, this is uh, page uh, 334 in uh, Al-Hadith, al uh, 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 Ul-Masabi, uh, by uh, Mulana Fazul Karim, you can find this. Alright, um, so this is chapter, I believe, 23, section 1, Jihad, Holy War, Jihad. The word is derived from Jihadun meaning exertion or striving. Technically, it means exerting of one's power in repelling enemy uh, in repelling enemy to the extent of one's ability where, whether by word or by deed. It also means a war and it also means a war undertaken for a just cause and for defense of Islam. The Holy Quran used the word in various ways. Those who strive hard for us, we will certainly guide them in our ways. And Allah is surely with the with the doers of good. Uh, Surah 29, ayat, um, ayat 69. Whoever strives hard, he strives only for his own soul. 29, uh, ayat, uh, Surah 29, ayat 6. Strive hard for Allah. Strive hard for Allah, such uh, such a striving is due to Him. Um, Surah 22, Ayat 78. Some European writers twisted it and ap ap applied it in all cases of holy war. Right now, that's another misconception. People think you know it's all about violence and you know fighting and killing people, which a lot of these dudes on videos they talk about you know. Uh, we're here to raise jihad and you know go after everybody. You know this is no, this is not true. Uh, B, object of jihad. That's the object of it. The holy the holy Quran says permission to fight is given to those upon whom war is made because they are oppressed. Allah is well able to assist them. Those those who have expelled those who have been expelled from their homes without a just cause, except that they say, Our Lord is Allah, and had there not been Allah's repelling some some uh, people by others, 
there would have been pulled uh, there would have have been pulled down uh, cloisters churches synagogues and mosques in which Allah's name is much remembered but Allah will help Allah will help him who helps his cause uh, Surah 22 Ayat, thir ayat uh, 39 uh, 40Q um, The object of jihad is thereof self-defense which is also a natural law with regard to all animals and the object is not uh, propagation of the faith Pro, excuse me, pro, propagation of the faith. The Holy Quran strictly prohibited conversion by force, saying there is no compulsion in religion. Uh, Al Baqarah uh, Surah 2, Ayat 256. Jihad is, jihad is holy war in the sense that had there been no war, no religious liberty, no justice, no house of God, uh, ir, ir, uh, irrespective of caste and creed would have been saved. This magnanimous pronouncement uh, of the object of war in in uh, in protecting the holy places of Allah, I mean, excuse me, the holy places of all faiths, excuse me, is nowhere is nowhere found in the world except in in Islam. For absence of good motive uh, of of good motive in war, the world is now uh, excuse me is now in in utter chaos and um, in imperial imperialistic and bureaucratic tendencies have corrupted uh, have corrupted up to an amazing extent. All the wars undertaken by the prophet and his companions peace be upon him, were in, in of this type. The Quran says in unmistakable terms about the object of war in another verse. In a fight in the way of Allah with those who fight with you and not and not and be not aggressive so the 2 uh, I at 40 uh, excuse me 140 this verse also warns the Muslims not to be uh, in a uh, in incessive in killing such as the killing of women children and the old the Holy Prophet used to pray in the field of Badr in the midst of actual fight, O Allah, I beseech thee to fulfill thy covenant and thy promise. O Allah, if thou wilt, thou wilt be worshipped no more. Okay, now, um, so basically, you know, basically in Islam, you know, jihad is, uh, you know, not just for, you know, just for the Muslim, but also all those who are oppressed, you know. Um, and it's it's like a, kind of like a freedom fighting, you know, basically. All right, um... Okay, see, I right, against whom to fight, all right? Fight must be against aggressors who create disturbance in the world and who and destroy houses of God of all faiths, not just uh, those of Muslim, but all faiths. Islam, however, prohibits to fight with those who do not take aggressive part or who are under treaty with the Muslims on payment of uh, jizah, jizah tax, which is is a token of submission to Muslim rule. The Quran recites, fight with the aggressors, except those uh, of the idolaters with whom you made a treaty. They have not injured you in anything and have not backed up anyone against you. So fulfill the treaty to the end of their term. Surely Allah loves those who are careful of their duty. Uh, Surah 9, Ayat 4. Again, it says, if one of the idolaters seek protection uh, from thee, give him protection till he hears the word of Allah. Then make him reach his place of safety. This is because they are people who do not know. Surah 9, Ayat 6. Again, the Quran says, Allah does not forbid you respecting those who have not made war against you on account of your religion and have not given you forth from your homes, that you show them kindness and deal with them justly. Surely Allah loves the doers of justice. So the 60, ayat 8. Merits of jihad. All right. um, jihad is one of the chief um, 
meritorious acts in the in the eye of in the eye of Islam. It is the best source of earnings, but it shall be undertaken with the intention of self defense, as said above. If it is if it is purged of that motive, it is devoid of all merits. He who fights for chivalry, heroism, fame, or worldly gain ha has got no merit. Has got no merit, and the aggressor is doomed to eternal uh, perdition. So twenty three, ayat fifty three and fifty four. Jihad is the best action of a Muslim. So twenty three uh, and nineteen. A great reward has been promised for supplying even arms and munitions to the warriors. So thirty three, ayat five fifty six. There are innumerable traditions relating to the merits of jihad or or of a ghazi. Here are a few traditions merit merit are uh, acquired in jihad it is no less than what is earned in praying and fasting. Surah twenty three ayat one. Fire will not touch a foot which tread the path of Allah. Surah twenty twenty eight ayat eight. All the sins of of a martyr will be Forgiven except debt. Surah 23, ayat 19 and 20. Doors of paradise are under the shades of swords. Surah 23, um, ayat 60. Paradise is granted for the martyrs. 23, ayat 39 and 40. A coin spent in the way of Allah brings innumerable blessings. 20, uh, Surah 23, ayat 37. For these rewards, the Holy Prophet wished that he should die several times in holy war and and be brought back to life several times for holy war all right spiritual jihad the greatest jihad says the prophet is the fight against the evil passions of oneself uh sort of five ayat uh 190 193 because these are the enemies of soul working secretly to undermine the most vital qualities of man, the great tussles which in, uh, ensues in mind between good and evil forces a man uh, forces a man is called the the greatest fight. There are two uh, propensities in a man beastly and uh, angelic. Man is an animal, and therefore he has got like. Excuse me. He has got like other animals. Well, the old English, the propensities of an animal. He has also got a soul, a thing from Allah. Therefore, he has also got propensity, pro, propensities of good of good deeds. At the age of uh, disc discretion, one tries to prevail over another. The struggle of soul. To gain upper hand over the animal nature in a man is called the greatest fight, right? So basically, you know, um, jihad is you know not clear cut like the media and every and everybody else tries to make it out to be. Um, it's a lot more complex, and it's not just uh, kill kill, as though everybody tries to make it out to be. All right, um, I have spent a long long enough on this video, um, so. Um, may Allah forgive me for anything I said wrong, uh, anything that, that was wrong uh, came from me, and I, uh, 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 if I didn't say it right, that's for me, my fault, uh, my dyslexia, and also um, anything that was right and correct, it came from Allah SWT and the Prophet, uh, and, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Alright, so um, basically, uh, like I said, you know, try to, um, those who are not Muslim, try to find out about, you know, Islam and Jihad and whatnot. Those who are Muslim and young people out here listening to those who are talking about, you know, who are always spitting out, you know, you know, jihad, jihad all the time. Read about what jihad is really about. All right? Peace. That Muslim do out.